girl. Nice job. Stay. Stay means do not move. So whether you put her in a sit or a down, she is to stay there until she is released with her release word okay. In this video, you'll see that we're practicing two main things, distance, so going farther away, but still in sight, and then also stay. out of sight. I'm gonna go through this door and around the corner. In this video, you can see I'm keeping that duration short. This was really difficult for her. Um, so we're just slowly building that duration that she can handle being out of sight until and still stay until she's released okay good girl Pepper, wait. weight differs from stay because with weight it just means do not go any further so she can be in a sit stand down position it doesn't matter you can see she's also allowed to be moving around as long as she does not go any further so in this situation i'm practicing getting a package off the front door so weight means do not go any further as in do not go through the threshold of this door but i don't care what else you do you can move around so it's a little bit more lax than stay um, but makes a lot more sense in a lot of these situations because weight does not need released unless you're going to let them cross that line you drew. So in this situation, I am not letting her through the door, so I never have to release it like you would with a stay. This also is really helpful for things like stairs when you just want her to wait and then she can come with you, but that way you're not getting tripped going up or down stairs um, around the door. Those are kind of some of the big times you can see it's really helpful. If you're gonna take her on a walk and out the door, you can still ask for weight and then you would step outside the door and use your release word okay to tell okay. her she is all, all right to go through the door, just like you see Good me doing girl. here with the stairs. Nice job. So with come when Papa, called, Tom. the big things to take note of yes, are girl, once you Papa, call her, pause and try not to repeat yourself and wait for her to look at you. As soon as she looks in your direction and yes, acknowledges you, that is where you wanna good mark your girl. yes and begin praising nice because that is what helps get our pups moving and excited to come to us. Yes, good girl. So you can see in these videos, I started by practicing in the backyard. You can practice when nice you're inside job. and out of sight. And then we moved to the front yard where there's a little bit more yes, distraction. It's a little bit more difficult because of that, nice but we're using a long line, of course, to keep her safe. Good and then lastly, yes, we took her to a public girl. space, which would be here as a park and practice recall, same way, Papa, walk her Papa. around on a yes, long leash, let her sniff and explore and do dog things, but then every once in a while, call her, reward yes, her, and let her go back to sniffing sheep. and exploring, and then call yeah, again. When she comes to you. Another nice important job. thing to remember with recall is that Papa, we are still Papa. keeping that reinforcement yes, high. While she is young and learning, nice we still should be reinforcing her every time Papa, she comes when come. we ask yes, when we're in any girl. kind of outdoor setting where it is nice more distracting. Job. We also worked on reviewing and maintaining the following cues. Leave it. Yes, good girl. Nice job. Leave it. Yes, good girl. Leave it. Yes, good girl. Nice job. Drop it. Yes, good girl. Drop it. Yes, good girl. Nice job. Drop it. Yes, good girl.
Good girl. Place in real time normally meant staying on her bed while I cooked dinner, we ate dinner, or while I washed dishes. She did really, really great with this um, and was able to maintain her place stay for at least 20 to 30 minutes. And last but not least is enrichment, making sure her day was filled with a lot of activities so that those needs are met and we'll see less of those behaviors like biting, chewing unwanted things, etc. that we might see otherwise. So enrichment included playtime with other dogs, playtime with me, doing dog things like getting to chew a bone, just sniff around the yard, outings to the park or social outings, um, anything that is kind of outside of those food, water, shelter, right? So play, act, physical activity, mental activity, and doggy things like sniffing, rolling around the grass, chewing a stick, etc. And of course, it's also important that she is getting rest and snuggle time either with you or with the other dogs. That's a wrap on Pepper's training.